dingleberries, sharding, turtle heading, ghost poops, making an offering to the porcelain gods. What does it all mean? Well, stick with me because you're about to get an unconventional vocabulary lesson. Today's topic, poop slang. Hi everybody, it's Carrie, your tissue enthusiast and your better booty advocate. And today's video is all about popular poop slang and what this shit all means. So before we dive into it, make sure to subscribe to our channel because every single week we post new videos on gut, butt, poop health and all things tushy. All right, booties, for today, I want you to think of me as your professor in all things poop slang because I'm about to open your minds to a shitastic world. So grab those pencils and start taking notes. Number one, dingleberry, pronounced Dingleberry. And believe it or not, the Oxford English Dictionary does not define this word, but luckily the sophisticated minds at Urban Dictionary do. All right, my friends, let's begin taking notes. Dingleberry, a smallish, semi-dry, extraordinarily tenacious remnant of fecal matter which, when unwittingly rolled into a mixture of toilet paper lint by the action of wiping, becoming almost irremovably entangled amongst one's anal hair. A situationality exacerbated by the vigorous chafing and friction between the buttocks and most commonly remedied by the sad and almost unavoidable remedy of plucking out at its root the individual hair to which each dingleberry is conjoined. Of related interest, dingleberry are often noted as having a vague odor of undigested corn or peanuts. Did you know that definition of dingleberries? Because that was definitely a very thorough and visual definition. Thank you, Urban Dictionary, for that. And so dingleberries, simply put, is a piece of poo that just hangs off your butt hairs and won't fall off. Sounds like somebody needs a tushy bidet, but don't worry, we'll get to that in a little bit. Number two, sharding. Ah, sharding. What a beautiful word. <laughs> Right now, I'm typing sharding into the Merriam-Webster website and let's see what we get. Okay, nothing. I probably should have seen that coming, but luckily, Urban Dictionary saves the day again. Sharding. When you think that you have a nice meaty fart to let out, but the only thing that presents itself is a juicy turd bubble. AKA, you thought it was a fart, but it wasn't just a fart. The word shart literally is the combination of the two words fart and shit. So you get the picture? Do you smell what I'm stepping in? Number three, turtle heading. So turtle heading is when you really have to take a poop, like very badly need to take a poop, but you don't have access to a bathroom. And so as a result, turtle heading happens. And so this is when your poop pokes out of your butthole just a bit, and then you really try to squeeze it back in so you don't shit your pants. Much like the way that a turtle's head would pop in and out of it, its shell, and that's why it's called turtle heading. So you've probably heard the term prairie dogging before, and so turtle heading pretty much means the same thing as prairie dogging, where your poop is poking out of your booty just a little bit, like the way that a prairie dog's head would poke in and out of its hole. All right, I hope that everyone has been keeping up and taking notes because we are about to move on to a very important part of the lecture, ghost poops and ghost wipes. I know what you may be thinking, a ghost poop is just a poop made by a spooky little goal or something, right? No, not quite. And of course, when we looked it up, our friends at Merriam-Webster or any other dictionary could not help us out and define these words. Shocker. Until someone else has a better definition of ghost poops, here it is in my own words. A ghost poop is when you take a glorious poop and you're about to flush and then you look down at your prize only to see that there's nothing in your toilet. Your poop has mysteriously disappeared. Where did it go? Did did it even happen? What the heck is going on? So have you ever had a ghost poop before? Because I have and I have been hella confused of where it even went. Now moving on to ghost wipe. So BuzzFeed defines ghost wipes as one of the most insane, almost mythical poops that pop out and leave no trace on the toilet paper. It's an incredible, highly sought after poo. There are only a few times in our lives where we get to experience a ghost poop and a ghost wipe combination jackpot. And it's truly a once in a lifetime experience. And so if you've ever been so lucky, consider yourself and your ass blessed by the poop gods. Because who doesn't want a ghost wipe where after you poop, you wipe and there's nothing left in the toilet paper. It's like literally ideal. <laughs> of course, unless you wash with tushy and then it's never a big deal anyway. Our next word is swamp ass. So say it with me slower, swamp ass. So swamp ass usually happens during intense physical activity and it's the condition where your ass literally becomes so sweaty that it feels like your butt is in an actual swamp. 
If not treated, swamp bass can actually lead to a more serious condition called duck butter. I know I'm throwing a lot of slang at you, so stick with me. Duck butter is the combination of sweat from the ball sack and the anus that creates this buttery film on the grundle and the butthole. And so this usually happens due to an unwashed scrotum, usually creating a smelly odor that kind of worsens in thickness and odor by the minute. Alrighty, gonna go gag now, and I'm almost sorry that I painted that picture for you. This vocabulary lesson clearly is not for the faint-hearted. Okay, moving on to my favorite part of the lesson, poop euphemisms. So we actually asked the members of our Tushy Movement Facebook group what their favorite poop euphemisms are, and then here are our top 10 favorites. Let's start it off with dropping the kids off at the pool, classic, and then pinching off a loaf. So this is actually what my shirt says, and yes, this is a real Tushy merch shirt, so you can get it on the website. I'm gonna link it in the description below. And now on to the next euphemism, signing a contract. That one actually was the first time that I've heard that. Learn something new. And then dropping a chalupa. Going to see a man about a horse. I actually don't think I understand that one fully, but that's okay. Building a log cabin. Taking the Browns to the Super Bowl. <laughs> Making an offering to the porcelain gods. Drowning a snake. And then building a mansion. <laughs> So if you wanna be part of this amazing and really silly and fun Facebook group, join us via the link in the description below. Hope to see you in there. If you thought you were done with poop euphemisms, not quite. So at Tushy, we obviously have an entire collection of poop euphemisms. And so here are a few that really cracked me up. Drop it like it's hot. And then do the royal squat. Unloose the caboose. Drop a deuce. So obviously drop a deuce is a classic one as well. So have you heard of any of the poop euphemisms that I listed off today? Which ones do you use? Drop Drop the ones that you love in the comments below because I want to hear what you say when you gotta go poop. Well, I hope everyone is all caught up on their poop, fart, and booty slang. And after this quite unique vocabulary lesson, we can all agree on a few things. One, the English language is kind of crazy and it's truly a trip. Two, people have a word for literally almost everything. And then three, all of y'all turtle-heading, swamp ass, dingleberry, duck butter, pooping humans need a tushy bidet. Why? Because this super affordable and easy bidet attachment can clean up any mess and any stubborn dingleberries that are sticking around your butt hairs. The Tushy Bidet can wash away your sweaty swamp ass and disgusting duck butter. And it's literally the best butt buddy after dropping the kids off at the pool. In all seriousness though, the Tushy Bidet is truly a great thing for all pooping humans. Instead of wiping around your poop with dry paper, instead wash with a stream of fresh water. It gets rid of all of your poopy bits, leaving you feeling squeaky clean and confident. And did I mention that washing with a bidet helps you save money on the rolls and rolls of toilet paper that you no longer need? People who wash use 80% less TP. And last but not least, whenever you wash, you're not wasting so much toilet paper. And so this is way better for our earth and our environment. You're no longer killing trees just to wipe your poop. So Tushy actually sells two types of bidet attachments, the Tushy Spa, which is what I actually have on my toilet, and then the Tushy Classic, which is what I have here. So they both attach right in between your toilet seat and your toilet bowl. And the difference really is that the Tushy Classic allows you to adjust the water pressure, while the Tushy Spa allows you to adjust the water pressure and the temperature. Fancy, huh? So both are really great options and I've linked them in the description. So if you wanna learn more, definitely check out some of the recommended videos at the end of this one, especially the Tushy 3.0 video, also linked below. And if you're ready to buy or just wanna head over to the website, go to hellotushy.com forward slash vlog. Alrighty booties, that is all for today. And thank you so much for watching this silly video and give it a thumbs up if you learned something new or just found this video to be entertaining at all. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell so you're notified every single time we post new videos. You don't want to miss any of the poop scoop. And lastly, I want to invite you to join our community hosted on Facebook groups. It's called the Tushy Movement. Gut feelings, the day life, and butt stuff. We're a collective of pooping humans with a great sense of humor from all around the world. And we've really gathered in this community to chat and to really learn more about gut health, butt health, poop health, sustainability, and of course, all things Tushy. And you can join via the link in the description below. I hope to see you in the group. And that's all for today. So I'll see you buttholes next time. Time. Happy pooping.